Hey everyone, we are live. Again? Still, it's been a little while since the last one. So, anybody want to give me a couple of comments? Um, I'm doing this live stream on my iPad Pro. So, uh, it's a bit different from the actual iPhone, but I'm not getting any comments coming up at the moment. So if anybody wants to throw me a couple of messages out there. Hey, here we go. All right there, Justin. Yeah, welcome back, been waiting. Yeah, it's been a long time, isn't it? What's it about, September? Jay Glenister, how are you doing? Uh, we've got seven, eight people, so we're growing. That's good. Yeah, so last time I was using the old iPhone. Oh, thoughts on Infinity War for next year from Thomas. Well, Thomas, uh, it's going to be the best one, isn't it? I mean, Thor Ragnarok was absolutely spectacular. And they've got to pull all the stops out, especially for Infinity. It's a shame DC didn't do the same with Sodden <laughs> Justice League. Because that was a bit of a disappointment. It had its moments, but it was a bit of a disappointment. So, anything else? Anybody else want to have a comment about chatting shit? <laughs> I'm just waiting for some more comments to come up. I don't know, um, a couple of days ago I was over in Sainsbury's, I think it was. And I found these. Pop Chips Galactic Puffs Barbecue and uh, R2 ones. So um, I don't know which one to open. One's sour cream and one's barbecue. So uh, if you want to let me know which one we, sh we should pop open and eat. Um, because they're in the shape of fun eat shape. So probably off gobble off Chewbacca or something. Let's have a look, see what we got on the old comments then, shall we? Uh, am I planning on seeing Coco? Yes, I am. I've seen the trailer for that. It looks absolutely fantastic. But it opens in the UK January sometime? Uh, yeah, sometime in January. Connor says we should open the sour cream. So let's gobble off R2. Let's have a look. me! There's hardly anything in it. And they're not very big either. Ooh. Oh, that's very sour. I don't know how many, many of them we'll get through. Um, have you pre booked your tickets for the last. Sorry for gobbling off with my stuff in my mouth. Uh, the Last Jedi. Yeah, got tickets already. Going on the Wednesday night. So I think that's Wednesday the 13th going into the 14th. So that'd be midnight. Um, did you notice Superman's dodgy CGI face? <laughs> so, who did it ruin the Superman CGI? Yeah, it was his moustache, wasn't it, that they CGI'd out. It looks really weird. Like, he was like that. I thought, yeah, they, they could have just shaved it and then just stuck another one on, you know, stuck an artificial one on for... Uh, Mission Impossible. I take it everybody can hear me okay. Um, I've got the volume up pretty good. Give me a thumbs up if you if the volume's okay. Where are we from a list of questions? What movie do you own that had the earliest cinema release date? Oh, thanks, Justin. Sounds okay. Um list of questions what movie do you own that had the earliest cinema re release date what do you mean um from years ago i take it you, you mean from years ago that would probably be something like what do we own it's probably star wars because that was like 77 wasn't it and i was born in 71 
So that's probably that, if that's what you mean, but let me know if you if that's not what you mean. <laughs> um, enjoy watching your videos and like your positive sense of humour. Oh, thank you very much. Blazing Arrow 88. Well, that's a cool name. Thanks very much. I enjoy doing the videos. Hi, Rob the Bobs. Uh, in case you're wondering what I keep doing with this, it's a... Uh, little rubbery pen thing helps me go through the comments a little bit easier. Connor asks, are you hoping there will be an extended Snyder cut of Justice League on Blu-ray release like there was with Batman and Superman? Yeah, I'm really hoping there's going to be an extended version because I reckon it's going to be a totally different film. Uh, it'll probably change loads of people's opinions as well, so I'm really looking forward to that. Have you signed the petition for a Zack Snyder cut of Justice League? No, I haven't. I didn't know there was a petition, but point me in the right direction and I'll sign it. I'm sure they probably will release one, though. Have you seen the Rogue One Blue fans release? If so, have you ordered it? Uh, yeah, I've seen the Steelbook. Steelbook was absolutely fantastic. Better than that piece of crap that I hate with the Stormtroopers dancing around and, you know, in the swimming pool. That kind of shit. But uh, yeah, I've uh, ordered it already through Blue Fans, um, Blu-ray.com through Kevin. So I've already paid and hopefully we'll get that um, sometime maybe early January. Bit of a uh, Sam McGore, how you doing? Bit of a generic question, but what's the number one best and worst steelbooks you have? Sorry I'm bad at asking good questions. <laughs> also love your videos, thank you very much. I love seeing the notification come up, makes my day. Oh, thanks very much. That's really appreciated. Uh, so, the number one best and worst still books. Right, the number one best has got to be the Blue Fans Guardians of the Galaxy. With the gorgeous blue wraparound with the spaceships flying. That's just... And the, it's got gloss everywhere and embossing. It's absolutely fantastic. That's my number one still book. Worst, um, it's going to be one of the ones without a spine. Now, I probably would have said something like War for the Planet of the Apes, but HMV actually did give us a wraparound slip for it, you know, a cardboard slip, so at least that's not too bad. But yeah, the worst still book of all time is Rogue One. I just hate it. Oh my God, if I had it here, I'd just crush it. Um, which big sleeves do you think you'll be picking up next week? Well, I've already ordered Indiana Jones. Um, so the Indiana Jones, I wouldn't say trilogy because it's four films, isn't it? The Jurassic Park trilogy and... Uh, what's the other big trilogy? Indiana Jones, Jurassic Park and Back to the Future. Those three I'm definitely picking up and they're going to be big monsters as well with the gatefold in. But uh, I hope to get a couple of other ones as well in the next couple of weeks. Uh, and also I've been given a bit of heads up information from the chaps, the lady and the chaps at Tesco's, that they're re-releasing the Rogue One uh, big sleeve. Don't know if it's going to be the same artwork though. It may be a completely different artwork. So we'll have to see how that one's going to go. Uh, what else have we got? Midget BLG, who do you think had the best year for movies, Marvel or DC? Oh, Marvel, hands up. I mean, DC did really good with Wonder Woman, but other than that... <clears throat> the Zavi one sucks. Yeah, absolutely, Thomas. <laughs> That's the rogue one with the uh, the dancing stormtroopers in the peddling pool. Thanks for liking my name. Yeah, it's a pretty good name, that is. Blazing Arrow 88. Are you getting any more Arrow video pickups? Also, do you ever go HMV? Um, I don't pick up a lot of Arrow videos, probably because I don't know a huge amount of the titles that they release, but um, I do go to HMV quite a bit. Um, I'll probably be going there for the uh, the Blu-ray video, not tomorrow, uh, but the, the Monday after. Callum Brissett, how you doing? You're committed to the channel, well done, your video's awesome. Thank you very much. 
Justine says, yeah, earliest cinema for me is Nosferatu 1922. <sighs> yeah, 1922. Yeah, I can't say I've seen that film, actually. But for me, yeah, it would be Star Wars. That would have been the earliest f the earliest film I've seen in the cinema. Although my mum swears she took to see took me to see Snow White, I think it was, on a re release. But I think I was something like two or three, I don't know. Um hi there Lucy. So we've got any more comments coming in? Any more questions? Also, I was in Tesco's the other day. I don't know, maybe, maybe I prefer the barbecue. I was in Tesco's the other day and I picked up the latest issue of Total Film magazine. Look at that cover. That is a brilliant cover. I haven't, seen, I haven't read the mag yet though, but uh, looking forward to that film. Definitely. Ar is it Arjun Jill? Excuse me getting closer to the <laughs> camera, but my eyesight's not as it used to be. How you doing? So have anybody anybody got any pickup plans for this week? Any uh, big blues they want to get? I mean, not seen at the cinema. What's this, Justin? I mean, not seen at the cinema by you. But you own, but was released. Oh, I see. I see what you mean now. Yeah. Um, it probably will be one of the Disney ones then. It'll be something like uh, maybe Snow White uh, or Bambi. I haven't got Casablanca or anything like that. Watch Media. How you doing? I hope you got the photograph that I sent you over. But let me know if you want to pick out any of those Blu-rays. Thomas, do people ever give you strange looks from when you're just casually talking to your phone without filming video footage. Yeah, and I don't know if you saw the one, the video with um, self, Lulu and Claire. I was just casually chatting away to the phone. And Claire just walked up and says, no wonder you get funny looks. <laughs> I do get some strange looks, especially when I'm walking across Tesco's car park with a camera held up high filming myself. I think, what the bloody hell is he doing? But this is the 21st century. You know, get used to it. Uh, Lucy, uh, what is your most favourite steel book? Uh, that's going to be my blue fans, Guardians of the Galaxy. The blue one. Beautiful steel book, that is. Uh, are you going to get Zavi Marvel Face Phase 1, 2 box sets? Wasn't planning. <coughs> Excuse me. I wasn't planning on getting them because mainly I've got most of the titles anyway and there's no guarantee that phase three or whatever is going to be next phase four box sets are going to match that one knowing Zavi. Great chatting to you as well Blazing Owl. Um, what cool release is some you might like with the zombies and the soldiers coming out in the helicopter. The video with the zombies and the soldiers coming out of the helicopter. Yeah, I know. It's good one, isn't it? Splitting Kings. Now, there's another good name. Can you react to my music video live on stream? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to, how to react to that, you know, while I'm in the middle of chat. Yeah, I've got your email. Well, I haven't got your email, actually, but... Um, I'll check that out, see what you say about the uh, the Blu-rays. Have you picked up any Black Friday bargains? To be perfectly honest, Justin, Black Friday UK is nothing like Black Friday in the US. I mean, I've been watching a couple of videos the last couple of nights. Um, Wet Movie 1, Flicks and Movies, and they're going out at midnight. And their queues are ridiculous. They queue, some of them queue up for like 24 hours. They've got tents and shit. Uh, and they queue up around the block. But um, now, I mean, I've looked in some of the shops here and you, all you can find is like two or three quid off in, in the shop. So 
it's not the same thing, especially for Blu-rays and that. There are some deals on like Amazon and Zavi and all that kind of shit, but there isn't anything particular that I've looked for or picked up. Thomas says, what do you say? I've recently pre-ordered Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Blue Fans Double Lenticular. Have you managed to pick this up? Yes. Uh, that is a great pickup. If you look back at my unboxings, I've actually done an un unboxing for that Blue Fans Double Lenticular. It is absolutely unbelievable. And that Double Lenticular will just blow your mind. Do you think HMV or other shops will start doing a lot more 4K 3D 2D works So much easier than buying two versions of the same film. I think in time, yeah, well, I think this whole thing has started it off with like Spider-Man, uh, Homecoming and War for the Planet of the Apes. And I think we can see more and more titles coming out, especially now that 4K is getting more and more popular. Uh, watch media. Do you like Hacksaw Ridge? Yeah, absolutely fantastic movie. Uh, I think Hacksaw Ridge is probably this my second favourite war movie of all time. Andrew Garfield is just absolutely unbelievable in that. Just watch the video on a phone or computer while on stream. Oh, right, okay. Uh, I'll have a look at that then. Should we have a look then? I take it you're on, it's actually on YouTube. Where else would it be, he says. What's it called? Splitting Kings. Uh, let's have a look. Just look up your channel. Oh, yeah, Spitting Kings. All right, should we have a go at this then? Spitting Kings. This will be a laugh watching me fuck up. Um, is it Sways or Swayze? Aha. Is that a bridge? Or are you waiting for a train to come? Brian Swain's got his fan from his bro Wolfie, you feel? Little oh, man broke, he ain't pulling, he ain't rich, he ain't pulling. All your hoes got them jewel and two high nines. Pretty good. I'm not a big one for a lot of rap, but yeah, that's pretty good. Only got 500k, how they even get paid. I get paid every day in these bars I slay. I'm gonna take your bay, I'm gonna make a thing spray. Serious is everything I say. Let's believe it, I don't play. Shoot me up, better pray. Have this dog looking like a stray. All your money is fake. Yo, you can't walk us nasty. I'm spitting these bars, can't catch me. They call me Steve Nashie. Very good. Very good. Very impressed. As I say, I'm not a big. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, I'm not a big rap fan, but I do like a bit of Eminem. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely check out that in its entirety later on. So, um, where were, where were we back? Do, 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 do. Comments are coming in, flowing in. Do, 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 do. Ah, there we go. Uh, 101 Steel, how you doing? Welcome to the chat. Of madness. Do you know if the big sleeve editions will be all available in store on Monday? There does seem to be a lot of releases. Yeah, it's really annoying, isn't it? There's about nine or ten releases. I don't know why they just couldn't have staggered them. Rather than, um, I think they're probably trying to cash in on the Christmas thing. But um, I don't know. Um, I was speaking with Nick at uh, the big sleeve edition fans Facebook group. Um, and it appears that maybe only some of the bigger stores will be getting them in. So, you know, in the, because there's only so much space that they can actually display them. So I think mainly it's going to be a case of ordering them online. But I'm definitely going to 
uh, definitely going to check it out. Unfortunately, I've only got a limited time on Monday, so I'll probably be only doing Sainsbury's on Monday for the Blu-ray hunt, uh, as it's one of those do-it-in-your-lunch-break ones. So uh, Wednesday I'll go out and have a good look down Westwood Cross and see what we can find down there. Dennis K1979 asks, do you remember your very first still book? And what really made you collect them? Um, I just really liked them, you know, because it was different from the Amaray cases. You know, they, they came always came across as a bit floppy. Uh, and very flimsy, so you know, you could, I wouldn't say stand on one and crush it, because you could do that as still book as well, so I wouldn't advise doing that. But um, I kind of like the, the whole wrap around artwork, inside and outside. And my very first still book, um, I think was probably Sweeney Todd, I think I might have discussed that before, I think it was probably Sweeney Todd. Uh, and I think that came out when we still had Blockbuster stores. Uh, Joe Rooney. Know anywhere where I can get cool Blu-ray slip cases? Uh, is this the, the plastic slip over covers that go over like the steel books? That sort of thing? Arjun, uh, have you seen the video of the early morning opening on Black Friday at some curries here in the UK? Shows how big Black Friday is here. Oh no, they haven't done it again, have they? Is it people fighting themselves, falling over themselves to get a £200 Polaroid television? <laughs> I saw that a couple of years ago, one of those videos on one of our stores, Asda, and they just went absolutely mental. Um, and a couple of weeks later, the TVs were still being sold in the store for the same price. Thomas, um, I prefer it when they do more than one version included in the steelbook. Yeah, 3D, 2D and 4K. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, more than one version included in the steelbook. Yeah, so we don't have to go and double dip. And that's what we're also trying to get with the uh, the big sleeve editions as well. Because up till now they've only included like the Blu-rays and the DVDs. Whereas now, for the first couple of re releases, we're getting 4K included uh, in the big sleeves, which will be E.T. and Fast and the Furious 8. So the big thing with the big sleeves, which they've got to understand and what both myself and Nick have put across to them, if they really want to shift them and they really want people to buy big sleeve over the regular Blu-rays, include 3D. They include 3D and 4K. They'll be flying off, flying off the shelves. Lucy, I'm waiting for the Star Trek Beyond Steelbook from Zoom. Has the lenticular? Uh, oh yeah, has the lenticular? Got it for 12 quid and stuff. 22. Blimey, that's a good deal. Yeah, I'm, su I'm actually surprised they've actually still got loads of those because that was supposed to be a limited run and what was that about two years ago? Because I did a group buy on that one and that's a pretty good lenticular as well. So I'm surprised they've still got them, but it's a shame we couldn't have waited until now to get them on the group by. Um, I can't believe we haven't had Dunkirk released on Steelbook, either in HMV or Zabby. Yeah, I know, and I was thinking about that the other day. Um, I probably what I'm doing, I'm going to probably go for uh, the film book or the digi book that I saw on Amazon. I want a Steelbook, but... It's going to be a case of maybe uh, this one coming out in India, of all places. Um, and I'm sure Amazon, Germany and France are doing them. I think the French one's actually got a different spelling of Dunkirk, so I don't know. But yeah, I am surprised no one's jumped on the bandwagon over here with that one. I don't know what HMV are up to. But then again, we probably wouldn't have a title on the spine, would we? If you could sub and like, you appreciate it, yeah. Justin, my Black Friday favourite was Zavi Triple Steel of the Star Trek reboots. Oh, right, yeah. All but the first one in 3D and 2D, all for £15. Blimey, that's a good deal. I mean, I haven't really extensively searched through um, the Black Friday deals. You know, I've had a surf here and there, but there's nothing that's kind of grabbed me. The can. Sorry, I'm a bit late. 
don't matter, mate. We're going to be here for an hour, an hour or two. Oh my goodness me, Dynamic Dan 03. I'm watching this in VR. Holy crap. But the future's here, mate. God, I hope I don't look too ugly. <laughs> in your face. I'll try not to make you go all dizzy and fall over. Connor, how do you feel about Smith's toys after their dismal Force Friday attempt in your video? Yeah, bastards. Do you know what? Since that video, I've not been back into, into a Smith's Toys to store. So um, I might give that maybe a couple of weeks as it as we get closer to The Force, of, the Force Awakens. Uh, <laughs> Last Jedi. I've got a poster here. And we'll try that and we'll see if they got anything new. I hear that they're supposed to be selling the uh, Kylo... Thai silencer for 20 quid I think and it's supposed to be something like 50 quid and also I um, I think in the States Toys of Us have gone bankrupt they've gone into liquidation from what I've read I don't know if it's true but uh, I don't think that affects the UK branch of Toys of Us so I might scoop up, scoop up there again um, but before Christmas I want to go up to Blue Water again uh, to the Disney store and see what new stuff they got up there see if they've got any more Borg stuff I'm sure she wants to come up as well <laughs> so we'll see what they've got up there and um, have a look at the Christmas decorations around the blue water uh, yeah I know I can't believe that the last uh, live stream was two months ago I don't know why I let it shift for so long because I said on the video I said oh, I'm gonna do this every two or three weeks It was just one person walking in casually. Uh, oh, was it? Oh, right. Oh, no. Is that so embarrassing? Okay, I'm definitely going to have to look, check that one out then. Uh, won't be able to get to Tesco until Tuesday. So, fingers crossed anyway. Yeah, I don't think they're going to sell out. I think they are unlike Rogue One, which had a very limited release. I think a lot of these new big sleeves have probably got like something like 20,000 pressings. I'm off to watch the rest of your live stream on the PS4 <laughs> as the kids have claimed the tablet. Oh dear me. Did you get any good Blu-ray offers on Black Friday? No, not really. Bought Baby Driver and watched it for the first time last night. It's a great film, isn't it? It's a brilliant film. I love that opening soundtrack. Uh, the whole thing with... Uh, to the music... You know, the gunshots to the beats. Very clever. They had it on their eBay store. Oh. Do you ever replace a regular Blu-ray with a steelbook of the same title, even though the contents are identical? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do that quite often, you know, if, if, the, if there's a film that I really like um, and I want it on still, but I did that with Life. Although I like the cover, on, the regular cover on Life as well, but I wanted the still book on that one. Great Bear Gaming 333. Are you planning on getting Fear the Walking Dead Season 3 on Blu-ray when it's released? Yeah, Absolutely. Uh, I've got the first two seasons on Steelbook uh, and I've got my pre-order in already with Amazon Germany and I think it's an uncut Steelbook. Over here in the UK, I don't know where you are, but um, the series was available on, I think it was one of the BT channels, which you have to subscribe to, pay five quid a month or something, so I didn't bother doing that. And I didn't want to stream it because, you know, I wanted the proper Blu-ray quality. So I'm waiting for the Steelbook and I'll just do a marathon. Justin uh, Dunkirk Digibook here also, as there is no Steelbook. Also surprised nobody's bothered in the UK. Yeah, well, I don't know what's going on. One of the biggest films of the year as well. The Canon. Where's Winnie the Porg? There she is. <laughs> Because I've had to tilt the old camera because we're camera, and um, because we're um, sitting at a different location, you know we're off to one side. But there she is. In fact, if I stay there, 
If I slowly lift that up, you can have a look. There she is, in all her ma majestic glory. But uh, she's not moving anytime soon. So, where are we? I think this is a lot better, isn't it? It's a lot better than the iPhone. For one, I can, um, for one, yeah, well, I can actually read the sodding comments. <laughs> if you buy a foreign steelbook, do you swap the discs out for the UK? Not all the time, no, because I know a lot of the documentaries are usually in some language or other, and they just have subtitles or something like that, but I don't always. The, the only time I've really done that was with um, mine which was the film with Army Hammer, uh, where he stepped on the mine in the middle of the desert. And that's because a lot of the special features I wanted to see on there, I think were actually, they were in Ge maybe German. So I swapped it out with the English one. Have you seen the new Last Jedi clip where Chewie hits the Porg? Yeah, I know. He's just casually swalking away there and old Chewie whacks him across the... Uh, Across the dashboard. What's all that about? Thomas Peer, are you subscribed to any TV channels like Amazon Prime, Netflix or Now TV? Yeah, I've got Amazon Prime, got Netflix, uh, I've got Sky Q. Uh, with Netflix, I'm able to pick up HDR, so TV shows in HDR as well and 4K. So some of them are fantastic quality. Cheap as chips be. Welcome. Have you watched the series Stranger Things? Oh yes. I'm actually still in the middle of series two. I think I saw se uh, episode six yesterday. So I think I've got about three episodes to go. But I love it. It's a great show. Do you have any Funko Pop figures? Uh, yeah, I've got three. I've got a Sherlock. Sherlock Holmes. Um, I picked up the Porg, I picked up Winnie from the Disney store. Alright, I've got two. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's all to do with room as well, isn't it? I haven't got everywhere to display them. I've got some bobby fur on me. Uh, Joe Rooney asks, have you seen Justice League yet? Yeah, and I reviewed it as well. On one of my videos last week, I think it was, or the week before. Uh, good film, uh, very flawed. Uh, go and check out the review, and you can see. But I gave it three out of five. Do you find that if you are very positive about a film in a review, you get more Blu-ray.com orders for group buys? Um, I don't know because I usually start up group buys for films that I like anyway. I. I don't know if I've not bothered to do a group buy because the film was crap. I don't know. But yeah, it's not kind of very promotional, is it? Join up for this group buy. It's an absolute shit film. <laughs> Canon, what's everyone's top five films of the year of this year? Well, mine, uh, number one so far, number one would be uh, Thor. Ragnarok. Number two, Wonder Woman. Number three is Dunkirk. Number four, uh, Logan. And number five, I don't know, maybe Pirates. I know it's not as good as the first one, but it's a good rip-roaring Saturday afternoon adventure. Uh, Lucy says, got an Elysium Mondo print coming. Oh, Elysium, yeah, that's that's really good, that film, isn't it? Uh, that's the one with Matt Damon. Great Bear Gaming. I find it annoying that in the UK we have to pay for the channel in order to watch Fear the Walking Dead. So I have to wait until it's released on DVD or Blu-ray. Yeah, absolutely, same with me. I refuse to give them money. I think the same thing has happened in the States with um, Star Trek Discovery because it's on one of their pay platforms isn't it and a lot of people are refusing to pay the five quid or six quid or dollar or whatever it is 
to actually watch it so a lot of people just wait until they come out they will eventually come out what's the worst film uh, you've ever seen cheapest chips worst film i've ever seen in the history of big pooling <laughs> Um, is Bad Lieutenant with Harvey Keitel. <clears throat> Don't know why that exists. Um, Dennis, Duncan is getting a Norway, Danish, Swedish, Finnish steel book. What, all in one? That'd be clever, wouldn't it? So strange if UK isn't getting one with how close we are to... Yeah, I know. It's puzzling. I don't understand it. Look, oh, everybody on here wants a Dunkirk, 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 a Dunkirk steelbook. Oh dear me. Oh, I, do, do, I wonder how many people have actually gone into HMV and says, when's the Dunkirk steelbook out? Not like everybody talks like that. Thomas, uh, have you seen the TV series on Amazon Prime, Sleepy Hollow? No, I haven't. That is probably, that's one of my watch lists, though. I've got loads on the watch list to watch. Do you prefer action films over horror films and what's your favourite? Macaulay Denning, how you doing? Welcome. Uh, yes, I do prefer action films over horror films. I always have. I think this is how I was brought up. Um, my favourite action film of all time is Die Hard. My favourite Christmas film of all time is Die Hard. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I love Stallone, Schwarzenegger, you know, the whole 80s, 90s action, action vibe. It's just brilliant. Uh, do you watch Red Dwarf? I recently got the series 10 Steelbook. Oh, brilliant. Is that finished now? Is this the current series now that's finished? Because I think I've got one left on my Skybox to watch. And Dennis says, maybe I should hold a group by. Benjamin Nuttall. Nice to see you. Have you watched many, many foreign films that have come out recently, e.g. War the Handmaiden, no. Don't go for a lot of foreign films because I can't keep up with the subtitles. Um, and to be perfectly honest, if I was to go for a film, I'd probably go for an English dub because I'm such a lazy git. Um, but I did pick up in Poundland a uh, Jackie Chan one, um, Police Story. So I, I'm, I'm going to try watching that um, in its native language and subtitles. See how it is. Have you ever added up how much you have spent on your collection and or then used it to work out how much you have saved? Well, I've saved shit. <laughs> but I've spent, oh my God, over the years I've probably... I couldn't even count couldn't even imagine you you take for example still books i mean still books most of them are about 20 quid and when you've got a collection of something like 500 still books it's just ridiculous isn't it could have bought a bloody house without all that money i suppose are you going what uh, are you going to see the disaster the disaster artist what's that i don't know what that is dead addiction have you seen the limited edition Last Action Hero still book? Please tell me all about it. Because the only still book I've got is the one that just says Last Action Hero on the cover. And on the back, it's got the poster. Because I always wanted the poster on the front. How would you rate Tarantino films? Um, yeah, I really like Tarantino films. I think probably... My number one favourite will be Kill Bill 1. Um, followed by Pulp Fiction, Reservoir Dogs, maybe The Hate for Late, or no Django Unchanged, yeah, so. But definitely uh, Kill Bill 1, the first one. Red Dwarf season that just finished is. Oh! Season that's just finished. Oh, he's 12. Right, okay, so that's a couple of seasons. Yeah, they don't release many still books, do they? Um, although, if you look at Blu ray.com, and I think if you look at releases, I think future releases for either December or January, I think they've got all of the Red Dwarf seasons coming out on Blu ray. 
think they may be making more Red Dwarf. I hope so, yeah. I'm sure they make maybe one more series. What's your favourite Marvel film and what is your favourite DC film? Marvel is The Avengers and favourite DC film. Uh, favourite DC film currently, as of the new releases, is Wonder Woman. But I suppose if you count back all the other ones through the years, then it's, it's got to be uh, The Dark Knight. Macaulay Dennings asks, what do you think is going to happen in Fast and Furious 9 after the events of 8 with Dom going evil? I don't know. There's been a bit of hoo-ha between The Rock, I think, and one of the cast members, I think, because I think they want to do a spin-off with Jason Statham and Dwayne Johnson. But I don't know, I, th I read somewhere that Fast and Furious 9 was going to be set in space. What the fuck? Was it Moonraker or something? <laughs> I don't know. Um, although, uh, Jordana Brewster, Brewster? Jordana Brewster, that is her name, isn't it? Apparently she's coming back as well. But uh, I don't know, I don't think they'll try and bring Brian back. They won't do like a Peter Cushion on them. A Jedi Knight. Uh, what's your favourite Edgar Wright film? Uh, Shaun of the Dead. Favourite Hulk Hogan movie? I don't watch. I haven't watched any Hulk Hogan movies. Hulk, but not Hulk, Hulk Hogan. Do you have any questions for us? Um, maybe. What's everybody, is everybody picking up anything tomorrow? Um, are you picking up War for the Planet of the Apes? What versions, you know, 3D or Steelbook? I don't think there's any other big titles out this week, is there, other than those? Series 1 to 8 of Red Dwarf is going to be on Blu-ray in January. Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, hopefully they're going to be all remastered and everything. Yeah, love Dark Knight. Dark Knight is an amazing movie. Heath Ledger, my God. Christian Bale is Batman. And Christopher Nolan directed beautifully. Yeah, people keep saying that Ben Affleck is the, ben Affleck is the best Batman ever. Oh, sorry, I can't agree with that. Christian Bale just absolutely nailed it. And I'm hoping personally that they may nab Christopher Nolan to direct the next Bond film. That would be something. Yes, Heath Ledger is the best Joker. Definitely. Jedi Knight, what's your favourite Star Wars movie? Yeah, that's Empire Strikes Back without a doubt. Oh, hello. Uh, what comes out on Blu-ray tomorrow that you know of? All that I'm aware of is War for the Planet of the Apes. So I'm not sure what else we've got. 4K War of the Planet of the Apes. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I've got. I've now got 4K for Fantastic Beasts, the blue fans, 4K Spider-Man Homecoming, and 4K War for the Planet of the Apes. The only problem is I haven't got a 4K player. <laughs> but at least I'm future-proofing myself. Uh, tomorrow I get the Lilo and Stitch Lenticular Steelbook. Really? There's a Lilo and Stitch Lenticular Steelbook. It's part of the Black Friday deals. Got it for nine ninety nine. That's a pretty good deal for a steelbook. Lucy says probably order a Homecoming this week. Going to get the four K one because the cover art looks nicer. Yeah, absolutely. A lot. Most of those Spider Man covers look fantastic. Dead Addiction. I wonder why there is no Blu-ray steelbook release of True Lies. <sighs> yeah, never mind that there's no steelbook for it. There's no Blu-ray for it, is there? It's ridiculous. Although I think James Cameron is supposed to be working on them at the same time he's doing Avatar 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, however many he's doing. But also, um, I think he's doing a remastered The Abyss as well. That would be absolutely spectacular in 4K, The Abyss. Dark Knight is the best Batman movie, but Bale is not the best Batman. Oh, right, okay. You disagree? 
Um, Michael Keaton. Star Wars Episode 1 to 3 got loads of shit, but I think they're really good. It's funny because now, now that all the crap has settled, you can look back at them now and you can see what George Lucas was trying to do. I mean, he was making them for a child's audience, but the problem is all of the kids absolutely love those films. But he was forgetting that the people that grew up with the original Star Wars were about 30 or 40 years old. So they came across as a bit too kiddified for them. But there were a lot of great moments in those films. Uh, Attack of the Clones is really the weakest. Apart from the end with the battle and everything, the sabers. But yeah, episode one, that got so much shit when that first came out. And it still does mainly for Jar Jar. Um, but when you look at things like the pod race, uh, and that's that Darth Maul scene at the end where the doors open and uh, he goes up against Qui-Gon and uh, Obi-Wan, that, that still remains one of the best Star Wars moments ever. Would you like Christian Bale to be Batman in the current DC Extended Universe? I would actually like Christian Bale to go back to being Batman, but I don't think we're going to see it. I think probably Affleck's got his foot in the in the door now. I might get War for the Planet of the Apes, maybe then. Yeah. I'm not for... Lucy, you're not 4K yet either, so you're not alone. Yeah, I know. I think there's probably a lot of people out there that are not 4K yet. But um, I've got a 4K TV with HDR and um, my amplifier... Is brilliant for uh, 4K. I just haven't got a Blu-ray player yet. Xbox One is a cheap 4K HDR player. Is it really? Oh, maybe that might be a better option then. Just buy a cheap second-hand Xbox One. I'll probably get the other two ape films as well as I don't have them on DVD or Blu-ray. Yeah, they're doing a triple steelbook as well. For all three films, uh, which has got like three different individual pictures on the cover, which looks pretty good actually. Oh yeah, your Optima 300 looks superb anyway. Yeah, I've got the Optima uh, 141, I think it's the 141X, so I should imagine that the 300 is pretty spectacular. Do you have any Resident Evil still books? Yeah, uh, Resident Evil... Retribution, Afterlife, uh, I think I've got another one, but I haven't got the last one though. What would you say to persuade anyone that still buys DVD to join us on the blue side? I basically tell them to stop sticking DVDs up their arse and get into the 21st century, as I said in one of my videos. Yeah, it's, it's not going to end, is it? DVDs are not going anywhere. Not when they're 10 quid or cheaper. The average family member doesn't want to spend 20, 30 quid on home entertainment. They just want to buy a cheap DVD for the kids. So as long as the supermarkets are going to sell them, they're going to sell them. But Tesco, Tesco's, that's the one thing that Tesco's wanted to do. They wanted people to move away from the DVDs. And that's partly why they created the uh, the blue fans. Blue fans? <laughs> the big sleeves. Silly bugger. Um... To, you know, to include the DVDs in there with the Blu-rays, but also so that gives them something a bit different. Got a bunch of Blu-rays arriving soon. Oh yeah, the HMV 5 for 30 quid deals. I've been looking at those in, the, in my local store. And Peaky Blinders Season 1 Steelbook. I haven't seen Peaky Blinders, um, but I think it's on Netflix. So there are a couple of seasons on Netflix, so I might try and check that out. Uh, Jedi Knight, I'm really hoping that either Zavi or HMV will do a Stranger Things Blu-ray steelbook. Have you seen the Netflix series? If so, what did you think about it? Yeah, uh, Stranger Things, I've seen series one. Uh, I'm on series two up to episode six and I'm absolutely loving it. It's one of the best series ever. Absolutely. Especially for people that were like born like 70s, urging on 80s. You know, so it's so very familiar. It's very Goonies... Stand by me type thing, um, but it's very Spielberg, uh, and I love it. And they did release a Blu-ray release in the States, which was in the shape of a, like a, an old VHS 
videotape. And I believe they were trying to flog loads of them for like $10 at Black Friday. But I am surprised that Xavi hasn't jumped on the bandwagon over here to get the, um, the Steelbook release. Especially when they're doing, you know, like Luke Cage and uh, Daredevil, Jessica Jones and all that kind of stuff. Yes, I did actually like Terminator Genesis. I know a lot of people have got a problem with it, you know, messing up the timeline and all that. But, yeah, I really did like it. But, uh, James Cameron is doing Terminator 6, isn't he? And Linda Hamilton is coming back. So, basically, it's going to be Terminator 2.1. Because they're saying, ignore whatever came after Terminator 2. This is going to be a direct sequel to Terminator 2. So we've got Linda, Linda Hamilton and Arnie. Don't know if they're going to be able to get um, Edward Furlong because of the problems he's had and maybe he's put on a little bit of weight. Um, but i tell you who would make an absolutely brilliant older John Connor. Is it Jonathan? Jonathan from Stranger Things. He could play it. Thomas, I hate it when they release the first season of a TV series on Stillbook, but don't release any future seasons on Stillbook. I hate it when they do it with Blu-rays anyway. You know, get one and then the other, the rest you have to get on DVD. So, I mean, I know I did buy like the Supernatural and the Vampire Diaries and stuff like that, but on some of them I kind of waited until the actual series ended. <laughs> and just bought the whole box set. You know, that way you know you're going to get the whole lot. But I don't think we've got anything to worry about with things like Game of Thrones. I think they're going to continue with that. I'm getting the Planet of the Apes trilogy still book from Zavi. Yeah, it does look good, doesn't it? I was actually tempted to that. Um, do you have a PS4 or Xbox One? I used to have a PS4. I suppose I could have played, f used that for 4K, but... I sold that to my niece because she was going off to university. So she really needed it for gaming and all that. Um, besides, I didn't really have that much time with uh, playing lots of games, you know, when you're running a YouTube channel. <laughs> going to work and all the other shit. That was the reply to my question about stuff coming to me soon. Macaulay, uh, what film will be your first in 4K when you get your 4K Blu-ray player. I've just recently got the Westworld Season 1 in 4K and it looks amazing. Well, I've got the Westworld Season 1 standard steelbook. That's the, the maze one, the brown one for my HMV. But I have got a couple of 4Ks now, 4K uh, discs now. But, you know, they're like the kind of the day that I get a 4K player, the one that I'll probably want to get. Um, I don't know suggestions anybody that's got the best picture for hdr i don't know vhs vhs versus betamax god those are the days isn't they and that's partly why i like big sleeves as well um because it kind of brings back those laser disc years i used to love collecting laser discs there was a little old shop in faversham about 30 miles from me um and it's kind of like, at the front, it was like a odds and sods kind of shop. But you go around the back, through, walk through the shop and around the back, and there's just stacks and stacks of laser discs. They had all the latest ones. The yeah, Target exclusive, yeah, it is, the Stranger Things. But I'm surprised there's so many of them, though. I've seen some of the videos, and there's just stacks and shelves full of them. I thought that, you know, people would be snapping up that. Heard nothing about Stranger Things, but not able to watch on TV. Suspect delaying Blu-ray release is same as Daredevil Season 1 delay based on contract. Yeah, probably. Are you from England? Could you tell? <laughs> yeah. Home in the UK. I mean, White Cliffs of Dover. Anybody heard that in a song? There'll be blue tits over. No, it's not really. Uh, I haven't watched your Blu-ray collection part two. Can watch it after the stream. Got to have my daily dose of Big Paulie. Thanks very much. That's one way to send someone insane, isn't it? 
Oh dear. Yeah, it's quite good actually. Um, there's a lot in there, a lot of Blu-ray box sets. My only concern with spending so much money on steelbooks is that one day they may advance and release something even better or more advanced. Yes. Before you know it, we'll be sitting in a chair looking at a hologram in the middle of the room and we'll think to ourselves, what the bloody hell did we buy those steelbooks for? <laughs> oh, message retracted. PS4 doesn't play 4K discs. Oh, well, so I'm not missing anything there. Not even the, four, the PS4 uh, Pro. Oh, wow. I see the Xbox have got one up on them there. When will you draw your Spider-Man Homecoming UV code? That will probably be Wednesday. Wednesday or Thursday. And try not to let these go over like five days, because otherwise it gets a bit stupid. What are your top three favourite still books in your collection? Uh, the Blue Fans Guardians of the Galaxy is number one. Number two, I think, is now my Blue Fans Doctor Strange. And number three. Number three. I think that's probably going to be my Back to the Future. My Back to the Future Zavi art one. The cartoon style one for the trilogy. Did you watch Ghostbusters 2016 and what did you think about it? Um, it was fun. It was a bit of fun. Um, I think if they approached it a little bit different rather than... I think the directs are pissed on everybody by saying you've got to watch this film. But if you'd been a bit more subtle with it then people might have jumped on board. I don't think the, for the fact that it was all women Ghostbusters had anything to do with it. I think it's just the way they went with the marketing and, and that kind of shit. But a lot of people don't find Melissa McCarthy funny, but um, she's hilarious. Well, she is for me anyway. Maybe it's because we're both fatties. <laughs> but yeah, I watched my, um, Mike and Molly, so maybe it's something to do with that. But yeah, I, I kind of find her funny. I don't find... What's that tall female comedian, UK comedian? M Mer Melin oh God, I can't remember her name. Anyway, I can't remember her name, but I don't find her funny. Planet Earth 2 on 4K is amazing. Yeah, well, I should imagine it is. Smell the flowers, man. What flowers? <laughs> I think you've been having a bit too much Big Paulie. Do you prefer buying a film early from America or anywhere in the world if you're able to get the film early before the UK release? No, not really. I used to, when it was uh, in the old DVD days, I used to just import, 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 because, you know, we were like maybe two or three years behind. Uh, but Blu-rays now, they're pretty much most of the time simultaneous, and sometimes the UK gets better deals, especially with steelbooks. You know, we're always dishing steelbooks out, you know, as opposed to the US. Uh, I went to a hi-fi show in London back in early 2000 and saw a HD DVD demo, and it was awesome. But my gut feeling said that Blu-ray was going to win. <laughs> yeah, and all those people that have still got those HD DVDs can't shift them. I think I saw one in CEX for 25p. It's a good job it didn't happen like three or four years later, wouldn't it? Christ. People would have to just ditch all their co collections. Did you like the Amazing Spider-Man series directed by Mark Webb? It's a shame it ended so soon. I didn't see it. I take it was an it was animated. That's a good name, isn't it? Mark Webb for a Spider-Man show. You've got the best laugh when you laugh at <laughs> me. Everyone else laughs. Yeah, I know. I keep my workmates in fits. Sorry, wiping keyboard for previous posts. What's your favourite movies released this year? 
Um, Thor Ragnarok, uh, Logan, Dunkirk, and Wonder Woman. Your videos are awesome. Thank you, Jamie Smith. Do you watch Better Call Saul on Netflix or do you have it on DVD? When it first comes out, I'm on Netflix. I'm all over it on Netflix. But as soon as the Blu-rays are announced, I'm all over the Blu-rays. So I've got the first two still books. I think the third series is out soon. Um, although I don't think... Um, I don't think there's been a still book announced for it, has it? I'm not sure. Yeah, that's it. I'm talking about Miranda, the big ass tall lady. Miranda, what's her last name? Christ. But that's the one I'm talking about, yeah. Uh, she was in she was in Spy, wasn't she, with Melissa McCarthy? Uh, Lucy's love better called Saul, yeah. Got the still books. Yeah, it's a great series. I've been trying to get Lulu to get into Better Call Saul because we both watched Breaking Bad and she loved Breaking Bad, but uh, she hasn't got around to doing it yet. Do you think Blu ray today, Blu ray or DVD region codes should not exist? Yeah, it's pointless really. Miranda Hart, yeah. Um, yeah, apparently 4K, 4K Blu rays, you know, the old. Ultra HD ones don't have region coding, so yeah, um, there's no point. There's no point in having region coding. I always thought that. I only have Better Call Saul season one and Blu-ray, and yet to watch it, as I've been Breaking Bad and I've yet to watch them. Breaking Bad, oh god, was that a series? Excuse me, The Amazing Spider-Man was a movie sit. Oh. Starring Andrew Garfield, not a cartoon series. I th yeah, I thought you meant I thought you meant a cartoon series. No, I know the ones you mean. Yeah, I've got both of them on um, on Steelbooks as well. Yeah, they were pretty good actually. Although Toby Maguire was always I'd always prefer Toby Maguire over Andrew Garfield. What is the most that you've spent on a single Blu-ray stillbook? A Blu-ray or stillbook? Um, it's going to be one of the Blue Fans ones. So we're talking 70, maybe 70 or 80 quid. Breaking Bad is epic. Yeah, that's the quite correct way of spelling breaking. <laughs> we should have baking bad. We just bake the shit out of cakes. William Defoe as Green Goblin. <laughs> Uzi Goblin. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, he was pretty good actually. Uh, yes, I do watch Doctor Who. Um, although I'm still half a season behind with Capaldi. Got the one six scale hazmat suit Jesse and Wall. Oh, made by three zero. I think I saw that Lucy in your photos. Oh, my God, your photos were absolutely fantastic. And I love that face, Hago, even though you haven't got it anymore. But probably scared the shit out of anybody that was sitting in your chair. Are you taking Winnie with you to watch The Last Jedi? Yes, absolutely. I don't know what kind of looks I'm gonna get. What was your very first Blu-ray you bought back in the day when they were first come out? But I'll tell you what. Um, oh, Blu-ray, yeah. Blu-ray, Blu-ray. Do you know what? I actually can't remember. I can't remember the very first Blu-rays, but I can always remember like the first DVDs. Literally, because I used to go up in London. There was a shop on Shaftesbury Avenue, Pioneer Shop. And it was like, you know, they've got a DVD player for £800. And I think there was about 25 or 26 titles in the world of DVDs and they had those snapper case ones and it was like Mars Attacks, um, National Lampoon's Vegas Vacation, that kind of thing. Uh, and for years afterwards I would go into HMV for two years and say, 
are you selling Blu-ray, um, Blu-ray DVDs yet? And people were like, what's a DVD? You know, this is the day when laser discs were around. Um, and, you know, the, it took the UK two to three years to actually get going. <laughs> Spider-Man 2 is the best superhero movie ever. Really? Okay. Spider-Man 2. That, that's the Tobey Maguire one, you mean? Uh, the one with... Um, Alfred Molina with his big metal arms. That, I enjoyed that film. That's a really good film. People, oh Steely fan, how you doing? People who like physical media are probably safe collecting 4K or Blu-ray steelbooks. New advances will probably be mostly streamed. Yeah, see that's the thing they're talking about. You know, is everything in life going to be streamed later on? Is it going to be so technologically advanced as um, internet speeds get higher and faster and things like that but you get the edge you get the edge with physical media with the picture and the sound hello Audrey oh fancy a row a Rolo McFlurry right now yeah bloody out me too and I would have a Rolo, yeah, a Rolo McFlurry. I think they've stopped doing them now because I think it was only limited. Rolo McFlurry. Although I do like the Cadbury's ones, the Cadbury's cream egg ones. Backers thought HDVD would win for the same reason VHS beat Betamax. Because porn, because what? Porn not backed on Blu ray, but was on HD DVD. But porn now. Online. <laughs> I, just, I always thought that's a strange title anyway. HD DVD. Blu ray sounded really futuristic. Have you seen the Doctor Who episode? Doctor Who episode. Heaven Sent. No, not yet. Is that one of the later ones? As I say, I'm missing like the last six episodes. Hello, Audrey. Hello. <laughs> I'm a fan, I know, I'm a fan as well. Uh, Great Bear says their first Blu-ray was Skyfall. As I started collecting Blu-rays last year. How long have you been collecting Blu-rays? Wow, Skyfall. That's a good one to start on, isn't it? That's a fantastic Bond movie. Um, I started collecting Blu-rays literally when they came out. So, what are we talking now? Are we talking something like eight years? Seven or eight years? Or maybe longer? God, I can't remember. Lost track of time. My first blue was stealth. <laughs> yeah, I remember getting that as well. As um, is it Jamie Fox? Wasn't it Jamie Fox? And do you know I'm terrible with names. Hello, Audrey. What's your favourite TV show? My favourite TV show of all time is Lost. My favourite TV show at the moment is The Crown. It's a brilliant series. I really want the Am Amazon series, The Grand Tour, to come out on Blu-ray. Yeah, I know. I should imagine they will release them eventually. Series 2 starts about a week. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. Do you like cats? Yes, I do. Yeah, we've got um, we've got a cat, Bobby, ginger one that you might see in some of the videos, uh, and Lulu, Lulu and Claire have got a cat as well called Maya. Did you hear that soon you might be able to rent films two weeks after they come out? What two weeks after the cinema release? Oh, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Literally, yeah. I would think that once they finish their cinema run, they might as well just release them there and then. Blu-ray won because it was such a cool name. Absolutely. What are your thoughts on the first female Doctor Who? I don't mind it, but there's a lot of backlash. Yeah, there was a lot of backlash when they announced that, wasn't there? My God. Digital Spy, I was looking at some of the comments on there. It's like, that's it, you've killed Doctor Who. I'm never watching it again. I've been watching it for 50 years. <laughs> oh, 
I think it's gonna be different. It's gonna be good. Have you seen her outfit? Uh, I mean, she's easy on the eye anyway, but her outfit is fantastic. So yeah, I mean, it's been like this for 50 years. Uh, and there's no reason why the Doctor can't regenerate. The Doctor actually did regenerate to Joanna Lumley once um, in like a comic relief kind of spin-off. So it's a possibility. But yeah, I think it's really going to be good. It's going to be fresh. My first Blu-ray player was a PS3. The first Blu-ray came out in 2006. Was it really? 11 years? You had to, I had to think about that then. 11 years? Seriously? My God. 11 years. And I think DVD was like 96, wasn't it? 96 or 97. My first Blu-ray was the Iron Giants Collector's Edition. I got the Iron... If it's the same one you're talking about, not the Collector's Edition, but I bought the Iron Giant last week, I think. It was the Steelbook from Zavi. My favourite TV series is Lost. Massive fan, great taste. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Although, a lot of people didn't like the ending with the church scene. Uh, and even Lou, even Lulu thought it was a bit of a cop-out, but... No, I had no problem with it. Could have been a stronger ending, but I just love the whole cast and everything on that show. Thank you for asking my question. Yeah, no problem. Do you think any of the Avengers will die in Infinity War? If so, who? Ooh. Who cannot they kill? Who they're not going to kill? I can't see them killing off Iron Man. Maybe Captain America? Because I think... I think I read somewhere that maybe his contract was up. And that maybe they might kill Captain America and he would, like, hand over the shield to the Winter Soldier. To Bucky. Who knows? I appreciate you too. Can you check out my channel, please? I'm a subscriber to your channel. I have an unboxing of Thor with the new slip and Spider-Man both on Blu-ray. Oh, I'll definitely check that out then. Great Bear Gaming 333. Yeah, it's so annoying when a film finishes in the cinema and it's not released for eight weeks. Is it only eight weeks? Um, what was uh, the one of the last big ones? Oh, Blade Runner, wasn't it? Blade Runner 2049, which was out maybe about six weeks ago, something like that. And I can't see a Blu-ray or a still release coming out until January, maybe. January or February. What is your favourite Alien movie? Mine is the first from 1979. Mine's Aliens, because I like watching them kick ass. <laughs> DVD was 99. Was that here? Because I'm sure I bought DVDs in 97. Maybe I'm mistaken. I'm sure it was earlier. I thought so. My favourite alien is Covenant. I know it get a lot of hate, but it's still enjoyable. It is an enjoyable film, but I still prefer Prometheus to, to uh, Alien Covenant. First Blu-ray was Casino Royale from 2006 yeah that's another great Daniel Craig's done some brilliant Bond films isn't he not so much with Quantum of Solace uh, and although Spectre got its hate as well um, I still think that's a pretty solid Bond film that moment when you realise that you've been collecting for two years <laughs> to go so fast I know endless isn't it Bought it back in 2008. Nobody really dies in Marvel. The comics kill them and bring them back regularly. Okay. I mean, I haven't followed the Marvel comics, so I can't really speculate. But I can't... I don't know. I can't really see them wanting to kill any of the characters off. Because that means it's going to limit any future films for the next phases. First DVD was The Matrix in 99. Okay. So knowing that we have to wait 
four months for a Blu-ray release. Yeah, I know it is, isn't it? Christ, it's going to be difficult waiting for The Last Jedi to come out on Blu-ray. Talking about Bond, who would you cast as the next Bond? Um... Oh, what's going wrong with my brain? Bane from The Dark Knight Rises. Tom Hardy. Are you currently watching season 8 of The Walking Dead? Yeah. Right up to scratch I am. Right up to where I am now. What do you think they... What do you think they think to bring out the next half of 4K? It's probably going to be 8K. And then 16K, 32K. <laughs> I know they're doing 8K TVs. Do you think the Uncharted film starring Tom Holland, who played young Drake, would be any good? I don't know. I haven't seen that. Yeah, 8K is already a thing in China. So that'll be next. Yeah, they're just going to keep going and going, aren't they? It's never going to end. Do you know what? These are not actually that good. I know they're popped, but sour cream and onion never really been my thing. Who told me to open the sour cream and onion? <laughs> Banish you from the site. I'm waiting for Special K Blu-ray. Or set a breakfast cereal <laughs> for Blu-ray buyers. Have you ever watched the TV show True Blood? Yes. All of it. Great show. Fantastic series. Fantastic series. What's your favourite cinema food? Um, it's got to be popcorn, I think, but not their popcorn, not the cinema popcorn. It's got to be like popped popcorn from the supermarkets because they're cheaper as well. Just smuggle it in in a bag. Are you going to watch Peter Capaldi final episode of Doctor Who on Christmas Day? I'd like to, but I'm working. <laughs> so um, I'll probably take my iPad to work and I'll live stream it and watch it live. I would cast Hayley Atwell as the next 007. Really? Peggy. Yeah. She could do it, yeah. You, you, know, what you, you know what's going to happen though, don't you? You can't have a woman playing Bond. There's the whole fucking Doctor Who thing all over again. Did you enjoy the, enjoy the Kingsman films, including the new one, Kingsman Secret Service? is my favourite film. Uh, yeah, um, I loved Kingsman and Secret Service. I think the, the last one was my favourite. I loved the whole villain with um, Julianne Moore. But I'll tell you what was so funny in that. Elton John. What the hell was Elton John doing in that? Oh, some of the lines he was coming out with was hilarious. Watched an LG demo show on YouTube and saw an 8K display. Look at the new mobiles. God, it's just going to get so technologically advanced, isn't it? We're going to have bloody movies directly sent to our retinas soon. Was it just me, or did anyone else think that Captain America Civil War was a massive disappointment? <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's the worst MCU film, in my opinion. I think it's just you. <laughs> I liked it. Yeah, working on Christmas Day. Where do you work if you're working on Christmas Day? You'd think it's something important, wouldn't you? We just sit around in a call centre waiting for someone to ring to say their car's broken down or the police have stopped someone in a stolen vehicle. Yeah, it's bleeding edge of the seat stuff, isn't it? And the funny thing is, no one ever has sodding rings on Christmas Day. So we're just there twiddling our thumbs. But we get paid extra. 
Uh, regarding Doctor Who, I think if the writing remains top-notch and the new Doctor is a talented actress, most people will soon forget the gender issue. That's it, isn't it? That's what it's going to be. At the moment, it's not going to work. Can't do it. Can't have a woman! First moment she steps out of that side in TARDIS, people are going to be like, oh my God. i tell you what, a funny story. After David Tennant gave up Doctor Who, and on the BBC, they had a little five-minute excerpt which they had been advertising all day. This is going to be the new Doctor Who. Matt Smith came on, sitting there with his floppy ear, hair. Me and my work colleague thought, who the fuck is that? That's Doctor Who bollocks now, it's ruined. Boy, were we wrong. What a fantastic Doctor. I'll post it on your Facebook page in a minute. Oh, thanks, Lucy. Which season of True Blood is your favourite and you think is the best? It's hard to pick. I, l I can't remember which season it is, but it was the one where they had the whole kind of like cult church following thing. Oh, I can't even remember some of their names, but that, I think that was the, one of the best series. Who is your favourite Walking Dead character? My favourite Walking Dead character... I think it's Daryl. He's fucking kick-ass, isn't he? God, I just want to see a showdown with Daryl, Rick and Negan. That would be a hell of a showdown. Could you ask everyone what their favourite film is? There you go. Anybody want to comment on your favourite films of all time? We have all ears. <sighs> Thomas Pierre, The Green Mile. That is a great film. That is a super, super duper great film. Tom Hanks was brilliant in that. Michael Clark Duncan, that was his, that's his Heath Ledger moment, isn't it? That's his defining moment. I know he was funny in Armageddon, but that's his role. That's a great film. Don't think the Green Mile is on Steelbook, is it? If you was held at gunpoint, sometimes I am, when I go to Tesco's, and you had to watch these following crappy movies... <laughs> Spider-Man 3, Batman and Robin, Attack of the Clones, which one would you watch? Dying is an option. I would watch Batman and Robin. <laughs> because if you're going to die, you want a bit of colour. And, and you can always die with Arnie waffling on in your ear. Freeze! Whatever he says. Nice to meet you. <laughs> that kind of shit. I think that would be the one I'd go out on. Daryl is the best character in The Walking Dead, yeah, definitely. In the latest episode, Rick and Daryl had a fight. I know. What was your thoughts on that scene? I know, it's kind of like, oh, he wanted to do it, didn't he? Um, they're itching there, isn't they? They're itching to just take Negan out and get him gone. And so those scenes with Negan and, um, what's his name, the priest? Oh, God, here we go, mind blank again with names. That was so intense in that, in that, uh, trailer. With all the hands coming up around the windows. I like Civil War when I first watched it, but the more I watch it, the more I grow apart from it. To grey and bland. Oh, right. Okay. Well, everybody has their preferences, don't they? I happen to think Lady in the Water is one of the best films ever. Training Day. Good film. Really good film. Blade Runner. Yeah. Ordered 2049 as a blind buy. As heard it is a superb. Missed it at the cinema. Sometimes in life, Justin, a film comes along... A sequel comes along that just stands side by side with the original. That's one of them. 
that is such an iconic movie, 2049. It so belongs there with the original. God, I'm getting all philosophical and shit, and I. But yeah, it's a great... It's a flop. It's considered to be one of the flops of the year. Um, and it's lost a lot of money, even though the critics raised about, raised about it, raved about it. Personally, I think it's the audience. People want to go into a film and watch Transformers. You know, not have to think. I think Blade Runner 2049 was too intelligent a movie with lots of thinking. And people just don't want to do it. They just want to go in there and forget about things. Like I did with Geostorm. I left my brain at the cinema door when I went in to see that. Way too many movies to pick. One, as the all-time best. Yeah, I suppose that could be for a lot of people. Uh, that was season two. My favourite season is three. How was you expecting True Blood to end on the final episode? And what did you think of the Sarah Newling character? She was actually quite funny. She was really funny. Um, we, yeah, the whole scene with the coffin at the end. I don't know. It's kind of, kind of a, I wouldn't say similar, but it kind of a familiar, kind of ending to like... To like Lost as well, you know. Some people liked it, some people didn't like it. Is there any A and T YouTuber? Is anywhere to sub me? I don't know. Please sub and watch my videos. I'll remember your name when we go back and I have a look at the videos. Anybody who wants me to go and have a look at their channels, I'll go and have a look. Gabriel. Yeah, I keep forgetting people's names. They shouldn't have so many people in the cast. <laughs> yeah, he's he's come come along in leaps and bounds, hasn't he? It's the same with Morgan as well. All that time Morgan was like, no, I'm not killing anybody. I'll hit him with a stick. Now he was going around shooting every fucker the other the other week. Uh, the cannon. My favourite film is The Iron Giant. Need to buy the still book and add it to my many copies. Spider-Man 3 is my guilty pleasure. <laughs> Agree. Spider-Man Homecoming is, is my favourite movie. Was it me or was kind of the beginning of Spider-Man Homecoming kind of slow for about half an hour? Maybe it was me. What's your favourite film from the 80s? By the way, I'm not from the 80s, but I enjoy the films from that time. My favourite film from the 80s, there's so many. It's like you can't pick your favourite. Uh, my favourite film from the 80s, obviously, is going to be Empire Strikes Back. Because that's my favourite film of all time. But there's things like E.T., Back to the Future. I was like into the whole Spielberg thing. I just grew up with a lot of it and the Goonies and all that kind of stuff. What are your thoughts on a, f on a female doctor? What, one that I have to go and see? <laughs> yeah, I, th I think a female doctor will be really good. My guilty pleasure is Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad is actually not as bad as people say. I actually do quite like watching Suicide Squad. Guilty pleasure. The Bayformers. They suck so much with the Michael Bay explosions, but I feel like I have to like them because it's Transformers. Yeah, it's big. It's explosions, gunshots, all that kind of shit. It's good for the sound system. I love so many movies that it is virtually impossible to pick a favourite. I like to think that I have yet to see the best one. It keeps me excited about the future. There's so many to see. And there's so many films that I, I haven't seen, even older films. I've never seen Scarface. So it's a matter of just going back and just watching as many as you can. But um, I'm having trouble trying to get through the Poundland boys, let alone watching other films. I tend to enjoy more colourfully film over dark and grey film, e.g. Civil War. Yeah, I think it kind of like gets your attention, it gets your eyes, doesn't it? If you're watching a... Oh, I think that's why I didn't like Donnie Darko. I think because that was just so dull and dark and depressing. Uh, now you have recommended it, I want to see Blade Runner even more. Get that uh, get that steelbook to me now. Yeah, I know. 
If you like crappy phone camera content, check out my channel. <laughs> Will do. Is there a film that you have many copies of? A few. Uh, I've got probably about six or seven copies of um, The Force Awakens now. I don't know why we collect multiple copies. Uh, yeah, I do like Hacksaw Ridge. I think, I think you've already asked me that. <laughs> We're all forgetting what questions we fucking asking. Would you ever like to own True Blood on DVD or Blu-ray? I own the whole set on DVD. I'd have it on Blu-ray. I've got seasons one and two, uh, and I never did buy any more. So I'd go and just get the whole box set, the whole Blu-ray box set. Maybe I should have looked into Black Friday and see if I could pick it up. Have you watched my videos? What can what can improve on? Yes, I have watched a couple of your videos. They're pretty good. Um, the background, you need something other than, luck. was it Logan Lucky in the background? Something so that people could focus on. Maybe a nice picture, a couple of movie pictures or posters or that kind of thing. But it's really good, yeah. Uh, and I see that hopefully you're going to be going out doing a bit of Blu-ray hunting. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Um, if anybody wants to go and check out uh, Watch Media's channel, go and sub to him. He's just starting out, but... Um, you know, he's reviewing films, picking up Blu-rays. Hopefully he's going to be going to do some Blu-ray hunts. So he could definitely use some subscriptions. So head over there, watch media. Is there any film you have stopped watching because it was terrible? Uh, yeah, Bad Lieutenant with Harvey Keitel. <laughs> I have three copies of The Hobbit Desolation of Smog. Yeah, I know, why do we do it? Why do we have multiple copies? It's my favourite Hobbit film. Logan or Deadpool? Uh, they're both absolutely brilliant, fantastic films, but I would say Deadpool, because I just love the comedy that he comes out with. It's just so funny. And it's basically taking the piss out of every superhero film. Uh, I think all Star Wars fans have a 100 version of the films, mainly because of the special editions. Yeah, god damn you, George Lucas. How many editions can you release? Uh, have you seen... Hi, Jack. Uh, have you seen Westworld yet? I saw two or three episodes, but I got waylaid with other stuff. But I've got the still book, so I'm going to hopefully do a marathon. Uh, Macaulay says... I'm a big fan. My favourite film review you have done is Fast and Furious 8. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, Fast and Furious 8 was a good film, actually. Um, Charlie Theron was brilliant in that. Although Fast and Furious 7, that's probably one of the best ones since the first one. Mainly because everybody will never see it because it was the last time we were going to get to see Paul Walker. And they carried it out beautifully. I still remember I went to see a midnight showing of that. And people were fucking sobbing in every aisle. Best way uh, best way to do videos is be on cam. Watch out for oomph. Uh, and don't do vertical videos. Yeah, that's some good, good questions. Uh, some good answers, rather. That's something that I kind of like stumble on every now and again mm, um, I do a lot of that that's why we have editing programs <laughs> but yeah don't do videos like that do them like that oh, it gets my back up when the people do videos like that my favourite film franchise yeah Fast and Furious What's your favourite Christopher Nolan film? Mine is The Dark Knight. Yes, mine is The Dark Knight. Interstellar comes a close second. Your favourite Tom Hanks film? Apollo 13. My lovely wife got me the True Blood complete Blu-ray set last birthday. Had some on DVD before, but will enjoy the Blu-ray experience. Oh, I'm bloody envious now. <laughs> if you ever want to sell it, you know where I am. Um, and be active on other people's videos and not only by promoting yourself. 
Exactly. Comment on other people's videos that you sub to, you know, whether it be people like Wet Movie One, uh, The Flickster. Um, Spider Geek, I was a big fan of Sky Spider Geek, and I thought oh, he hasn't done any videos lately. So I headed over there, and all of his content's been erased. So I don't know what's happened there. Maybe he's uh, decided to give it up. But yeah, comment on other people's. Say, you know, tell them what you think of what they're basically saying, and and what you agree with. And but don't put links in their comments. Don't say, come over to my channel because it'll piss them off. I haven't seen Atomic Blonde yet, although there's a still book coming out for that. Have you seen Breaking Bad? If so, who's your favourite? Yep, seen Breaking Bad. Who's my favourite? What, who's my favourite character? Uh, it's got to be Walter, isn't it? This makes me laugh. George Lucas said that The Force Awakens wasn't good. This is the same goddamn George Lucas who gave the prequels. <laughs> JJ did, but yeah, he's jealous. I think he was jealous. Maybe he thought, oh, well, that wasn't how I wanted to do episodes 7 and 8 and 9. Tough. You sold the franchise to Disney. But uh, they're killing it now. Uh, and I don't know about anybody else, but I am really looking forward to the Han Solo movie. Just sent uh, a mail about the Blu-rays. I would love to get. And um, what's your favourite war movie? Favourite war movie of all time, Save It Private, Ryan. What is your favourite sequel to a movie? Uh, really? It really would be Empire Strikes Back. Because that is the best sequel, I think, ever. Oh, yeah. Well... Empire Strikes Back is my favourite film of all time, but if you if you just thingy that, it's going to be a, like a duel between Aliens and Terminator 2. It's your favourite Stephen King adaptation. I quite like the new It film. Yeah, well, I like that. I thought that was going to scare the shit out of me, but actually it wasn't that scary. Um... What's my favourite Stephen King adaptation? He did Stand By Me, didn't he? Well, I think maybe Stand By Me. What editing program for video do you use? Um, I've got quite quite a few, actually. I uh, On the iPhone... Let's see if we can have a look. I use... iMovie. Video music, video cache, video rama, uh, IMG, BB hosting, shit loads, loads of stuff, loads of stuff. Designers, photo editing, captions, all sorts of shit. The main thing that I use is iMovie though, it does what I need. And all of my stuff gets done on either an iPad or an iPhone, I don't do anything on the computer. Spider Geek was great, but a while ago he got very depressed and deleted all his stuff. I hope he's okay. Oh yeah, because I saw that last video he did where he said, this is the end. And that took a lot of courage to do that. Uh, and he did come back with a couple of videos. Um, although he primarily turned to like horror, horror stuff. But I thought, yeah, that's what he wanted to do. But obviously he's having second thoughts, but... I really do miss him. Yeah, he, he's a really good YouTuber. Do you live on your own? If so, what do they think of your movie nights on Full Blast Audio? <laughs> I actually don't live on my own. I'm a grown man that lives with his parents. <laughs> so, um, I think my dad's half deaf now and my mum doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> so, yeah, it's alright. But um, we've got pretty thick walls anyway, so... Yeah, we have a great relationship. Me and my mum, we go to the, we go see films, we watch the same TV programs. We have a great relationship. My dad spends most of the time asleep anyway and eating chocolate. Um, <laughs> have you seen Machete with Michelle Rodriguez? Yeah, who is my favourite actress and who I also got a soft spot for. Yeah, I do like Machete and Machete Kills as well. 
I think I'll do another one. Machete kills in space, I think. I got one of the Pinkman's hoodies. Wow. The one he wore when he fell in the toilet and <laughs> went blue. <laughs> do you remember that episode where it was just about the fly? Gosh, that drove me crazy. I just can't stop ordering still books. And did you like Road 1 or The Force Awakens? I like both of those films. Both of the f those films were great. And I'm looking forward to The Last Jedi, like you wouldn't believe. But I was watching Rogue One again the other night for probably about the 20th time. I think I saw like the last half an hour. I thought, I thought, and I thought, this film is fucking amazing. He certainly knew what he was doing when he created that, when he did that film. The pace in the music, it's just a great spin-off movie. I really enjoy all your video, videos. Uh, but your live chats are among the best. Oh, thank you very much, because it's taken fucking long enough to do another one. <laughs> oh, we're going to have to do some kind of schedule. Uh, I can't leave it another two months to do another one. That's ridiculous. What's your favourite Harry Potter film? Sorry to ask so many questions. You can ask as many sorting questions as you want, mate. My favourite Harry Potter film... I think it's got to be the original. I think it's got to be well, Philosopher's Stone here, Sorcerer's Stone in the US, because it was we you know we were introduced to all the characters, and it's so long ago now, and everybody was so young. iMovie and AVS Video Editor are some of the easiest ones for beginners. Then there's Premiere for the more advanced. Yeah, I'm not going advanced because I just haven't got the time. Everything that I've got does whatever I need. Even when we're like crashing spaceships in Tesco's car parks. Which means I've got a couple of Star Wars ones. I've got some dinosaur ones lined up for next year. <laughs> Do you have any other steals new in that you could include in our deal of the sop of your head? Sop of your head? What the? Um, not really, no. The only last ones I've had in were War for the Planet of the Apes and Spider-Man. And they're all accounted for on the uh, the group buys. What's your favourite Michelle Rodriguez film? Um, I kind of liked her in Avatar. She was a kick-ass in Avatar. Have you seen any of the Lego movies? If so, what's your favourite? I've seen the first one. Haven't seen the Lego Batman movie, although I've got the Blue Fans edition. Um, and I haven't seen Ninjago, is it? I missed that one at the cinema. Uh, do you like the look of the new Marvel Blu-ray slip covers? I have the Thor, the Dark World one. I did an unboxing on my channel. Oh, okay, I'll check that out. Please check it out when you have time. Yeah, it's crappy phone quality, though. Oh, we all start somewhere, don't we? Besides, technology makes crappy quality look pretty good. I mean, look at the green behind me. Bad lighting. Uh, yeah, I, I actually like them. Um, I did go over them on one of my uh, Blu-ray hunts, so they are quite good. Although it's just the slips, isn't it? The actual Blu-rays themselves uh, are the same covers. Do a live stream at the end of every month so we can talk about all the month's releases and Blu-rays. That's a good idea. What should we call it? Um, Big Paulie's final run or something. <laughs> I think I've a catchy name for it. How much do you tend to spend on your group buys? Well, not me. I don't spend anything. <laughs> it's what everybody else spends. Um, some of them can be quite extensive because the, the Spider-Man Homecoming, which I had about 125 copies, so uh, the total income coming in on that one, before you start adding things like PayPal fees and shipping, for the steelbooks alone was about £2,500. And probably a HMV are like, what the fuck are you ordering this much for? Have you watched the TV version of The Flash? Yes, I do. If so, do you prefer Ezra Miller or Grant Gustin? Yeah, I was having this conversation. I was thinking about this the other day um, on my 
review of Justice League. Um, and Ezra Miller's actually pretty good. It's very different from from the TV Flash, although I've seen two seasons of the TV Flash now, but it's certainly very different, but I, I, I can't say I prefer one from the other. They're both, they're both good. What did you think of Michelle Rodriguez in Lost? Um, yeah, well, she wasn't a big character, was she? To be perfectly honest, I forgot she was even in it. <laughs> Just saw that you where just saw where you live. Have you really been streaming for two hours? One oh five. Wow. Is that, is that an hour and five, or is that a hundred and five minutes? I think that's a hundred and five minutes. So I think. What is it now? Yeah, quarter to eight. We started at six. So I think we'll probably wrap this up. We'll leave it for another quarter of an hour. Take it up to two hours. I'd like to go on longer, but um, I want to watch some telly. <laughs> David Attenborough's on, and then I want to watch Celebrity Get Me Out of the Jungle. <laughs> but yeah, we definitely will do it again. I'm definitely going to do another one. But uh, I think two hours is probably good. Who's your favourite actor of all, well, of all time, Harrison Ford? <coughs> what did you think of Jurassic World, and will you go to see the next one? I actually liked Jurassic World. I think they could have had the better use of the music because the the iconic theme wasn't entirely through the film, but I kind of did I did enjoy it. Um, I'm not so sure about the whole training the Velociraptors kind of thing. I kind of think they went over the top on that. Uh, but yeah, I definitely want to see the next. What's the next one called? Fallen Kingdom, I think it's called. And I, uh, if I'm right, I think I read that. The first trailer for the new Jurassic World will be tagged on the beginning of the, the Last Jedi. What do you do in your spare time except from watching movies? Doing fucking live streams <laughs> and group buys and Blu-ray hunting, <laughs> other than movies and going out shopping with Lulu and Claire. Have you seen the new? Murder on the Orient Express, and if so, what was your thoughts? We was going to say this, I was going to go and see this with Mum about two weeks ago, and things just got out of hand, and we couldn't do it, we kn we couldn't fit it in, because we was going to do a review on it, but I really do want to see it. Uh, who would you like to see Michelle Rodriguez go head-to-head -head with in a fight of your choice? Oh, what a bit of bitch slapping. Um... Actually, I'd like to see Michelle Rodriguez go up against Charlie Theron from Fast and Furious 8. Yeah. Glad you'll... <coughs> excuse me. Glad to hear you'll be back live. Yeah. We can't do it, like, every two months. Oh, there's one thing about two hours of live streaming. If you leave your tea too long, you end up drinking cold tea. Thanks for the amazing stream. Have to catch the first 10 minutes when done. Yeah, absolutely. There's probably not going on, not a lot going on in the first 10 minutes. By the way, um, a lot more freezing. A lot more freezing, luckily, just for a few seconds at a time. This time than the last. Properly connection, not equipment. I hope so. I'm doing this. Um, I've got fiber optic broadbands at 80, 80 megs per second. So the internet speed is pretty fast. Download, and I think it's like 30, 30 megs up upload. Uh, and I'm doing it on a super duper iPad Pro, 512 gigs, I think it is. So um, I don't think it's the equipment, because I think we're speedily getting the shit out. So maybe it's between there and wherever. Maybe it's bad weather, or I don't know. But hey, I was watching Sky News the other day, and... They can't even get a satellite feed going. So, yeah. Where are we? Any more comments? As, as I say, we've got, we'll give it another 10 minutes. Um, and then we'll wrap it up. Because I'm sure you've got better things in life to do. 
and <laughs> chatting with me. Uh, what shop do you prefer, Tesco or Sainsbury's, when it comes to the range of Blu-rays? Because both always have a load of DVDs. It depends which one you go to. I tend to go to Westwood Cross. The Sainsbury's in there is extensive. They've got lots of Blu-rays, lots of DVDs. Tesco's do still have quite a bit as well. Um, but the thing about Tesco's is that they kind sometimes kind of lapse on the slip covers. Have you seen the new Deadpool 2 trailer with him? Oh my god. Of him. Yeah, Bob was it Bob Ross? And I remember watching him. He used to paint that is so funny. That's what I like about Deadpool. That kind of humour. I was pissing myself watching that. Charlie Theron would probably win Michelle Rodriguez easily in a fight, as she was like in Atomic Blonde. I take it Atomic Blonde is a bit like salt with Angelina Jolie. Been flawless on the PS4. Oh, good. Been great, but glad you're ending, as I'm going to watch the same programmes as you. Yeah, I know, we like a nice bit of David Attenborough and find out what the hell's going on in the jungle. What is the most amount of times you have seen one film in the cinema? Uh, that's probably going to be Rogue One. No, Force Awakens, sorry. I went to see The Force Awakens seven times. Thanks for doing a live stream. Yeah. Thanks for listening to me waffling on. Do you have a bit of a soft spot for Rod Michelle Rodriguez? Not really, not especially. Going to watch all the Baby Driver extras when the stream is done. Yeah, well, I need to do that as well. I want to. I want to see what's going on. I actually thought that they were going to delay the del the uh, release of Baby Driver because all this stuff with Kevin Spacey. So um, I don't know. It's very touchy and dodgy, isn't it? Where I live, they always have DVDs, but hardly any Blu-rays. Sounds like Folkestone. Apart from the new releases. The Tesco's where I live always has a big range of Blu-rays. I hope they do another Thor film. Because apparently Ragnarok is the last one. I hope not. If it is, then that's a hell of a film to go out on. Because I absolutely love that movie. So much fun. Very different from the previous two. <coughs> really enjoyed it. Love being able to chat to other peeps about movie-related stuff. That's what it's all about, isn't it? The old chat. I know sometimes we get, I see some people's chats, whereas they have these little boxes down in the corners, and they have other people actually talking, but I haven't worked that one out yet, so maybe we can do voice chat, I don't know. One moment. What? Okay. <laughs> that was my dad telling me I've got some garlic bread downstairs. <laughs> oh dear me. All right, last couple of questions then. What are the strangest, rarest countries of origin production of movies you have? One for each. One each for me of Czech, former Soviet Union, Israel, Norway, South Africa and Spain. Um, I've got that strange one from Russia, Guardians, that superhero one. South Africa is probably like District 9, that kind of thing. Which actress do you have a bit of a soft spot for? <coughs> um, Mila Kunis. She's fucking gorgeous. 101, it's the future, yeah. Paul's lost his shit, yeah, no. In the Marvel Universe, they have a trilogy for each superhero, like Iron Man 1, 2, 3, all three Captain America films. So, oh, I see what you mean, yeah. So we've got another two, we've got three Hulk films to come yet then. Talking of garlic bread, are you a fan of Peter K? Yes, I am, especially Car Share. Or did you see that funny thing he did with the, um, the stage show? Um showing the songs from films 
and what they really sound like you know like Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On actually sounds like the hot dogs go on <laughs> so funny right okay is there any films releasing next year that you cannot wait for mine's probably Infinity War quite a few Infinity War uh, the Han Solo movie Jurassic World so quite a few I think that's it folks I think we shall wrap it up there otherwise my garlic bread's going to get cold just like my tea <laughs> and we can't have that um, it's been almost two hours so that's pretty good going I think that's longer than the last one yeah I do like the Scream films anyway thanks everybody for watching and for giving us all your shit and listening to my shit we've got lots more shit coming up but um, I'll certainly take note and we'll do that um, end of every month. So we, we'll definitely do it end of every month then instead of every fucking two months. So, as I say, thanks again everyone. Um, you can, Once this stream is finished, it'll be uploaded onto YouTube so you can go and check it out if you missed any of it. Um, thanks for everybody. Uh, goodbye everybody. Um, and I'll see you on the next live stream. Uh, and now I've got to find out where the button is to turn it off. <laughs> There's usually an end. An end. Bye, everyone.